Talk to us about the China impulse coming through for demand for luxury. It's there. It is. That's been the big worry and the big driver. Would the Chinese come back and spend with the uh, ending of restrictions? And it looks like they are spending. So that is a big relief to the sector. All the shares have had an amazing run since the start of this year. Hermes up about 35%. LVMH up about 30% since the start of this year. All on that expectation of Chinese demand. If that hadn't come through, it would have been a bit of a fashion faux pas for those stocks. A fashion faux pas hasn't come through. The Chinese are back in force. What about US consumers? All this talk about recession risks, the Fed keeps hiking rates. Is there a concern that US consumers at the high end are going to have to start pulling back? Yes. Um, the, US, uh, the US luxury market is weakening. We have lots of data points to show that. It is really the younger, more aspirational luxury buyer who used uh, crypto gains, stimulus checks, stock trading gains to buy a pair of designer sneakers or a Gucci handbag over the past couple of years. Those uh, stimulus isn't there and so they are pulling back a bit. Now Hermes has outperformed on in the US and really Hermes is a slightly different case. It can almost it can almost sort of uh, dictate its own, own demand because there are wait lists for those iconic bags if you can't quite afford one of those you can buy some Hermes makeup, you can buy a Hermes scarf. So it can really sort of uh, di dictate its own demand. So it, it has outperformed in the US, it should uh, outperform there. The flip side is China, it, it isn't as exposed to China as some of the peers and it has also outperformed its rivals for the last couple of years. So whether it gains as much upside in China, we'll have to wait and see.